What's up guys? Darth Dip Nerf here. Um my last video I showed you the budget roadie and how to well I didn't show how to make it, I told you how to make it. It works best the Zephyr Hills, you cut there, you blah blah blah, you fuck shit up and you fucking spit in it and you got a budget roadie. Yeah. But today I'm going to show you guys something uh, that I really don't think I've done yet. I showed uh, a long time ago the Amp Guard legal weapon, but today I'm going to show you something different. It's still LARP though. I'm a troll! Sorry about that, it was an outburst. <laughs> Anyways. This is what this is not a legal LARP weapon anymore no you can't use this in most LARPs that don't involve really hurting well you know other people this used to be my buddy Chris um, I made this for him and he kept fucking swinging for the fields like he was playing baseball and not LARP and kept breaking the goddamn LARP weapon up here Oh my god, he took the Lord's name in vain. God damn it, I did. Anyways. So yeah. But before this became, you know, like a Louisville Slugger, it was a pretty decent LARP weapon. And uh, this pommel is also way too damn hard now. But here's a example of what a LARP weapon looks like. But yeah. Um, what it's got is a PVC pipe core. I believe that this is, it looks like it's about a 30, 33, 34 inch. And, um, what it is is a PVC pipe core. And it's got, well, it had one layer of duct tape underneath it that's wrapped around and one going down in lines, as you can see. And then this is just all covered in duct tape and more duct tape and more fucking duct tape and my spawn is up I'll be right back and we're back what are you doing oh my goodness you're starting to get some red hair going yeah so jokes aside me and my fiance are brown haired I'm brown eyes and she's got like hazily green eyes but my almost my entire family either had at one point or now has red hair and because of my mom I turned out with brown hair and funny thing is her family my fiance they're all blonde haired blue eyes except for her mom her mom's got dark hair and dark eyes so I take after my mom she takes after her mom but he obviously has a damn combination of all our other goddamn family members. Yeah. But yeah. And he's about to go, ooh, I wanna hold that. Boop. 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 Boop, 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 boop. But anyways. So yeah, this is what a LARP, a uh, normal legal LARP weapon looks like. And as you can tell, he used to swing from the fucking fields because he dented the damn foam what it is like I said before is a P <laughs> is a PVC pipe core it's got a pool noodle over it for the blade and the pommel and a few layers of duct tape very easy to make it's very easy to make I will make a do it yourself one of my makeshifts my makeshifts and mods playlist I'll show you how to make one Friday. Tomorrow. And he's gone. Now I'm going to show you one more thing. My son's first LARP weapon. You know your LARP weapon? Yeah. And here it is. I made it for him. He has teeth. And this is just a basic sword you can buy at uh, Walmart. It's like three, three bucks, three ninety something, I think, or is it two ninety something? I can't remember. But it's got foam underneath, and he was biting at it. He was putting marks in it. Hold on, I'll give it to you in a second. And uh, it was the pirate one, because he he likes um, 
he liked that one the best, the way it looked. I got it for him for his birthday. So what did I do, being the awesome, destructive dad that I am? I went ahead and put a sock around it, like you would an amp guard or some sort of cloth. Electrical tape around it, and then duct tape around it as well. So it holds together nice, and it doesn't hurt. It's a nice toy for him. And this is my son's LARP weapon. His first LARP weapon. Yeah! What is that? So I'm going to put you down now. I'm give you your weapon. Trevor, what's this? And he's on the move. Yeah. So yeah. There's a look at my son's first LARP weapon. And one of the old retired LARP weapons I have. Which I'm probably just going to scrap. Take everything off of it and remake it. But ooh. One more thing. Bam. It is the dagger here. Belagarth, Amp Guard, and LARP Legal Punch Shield. This is made by Gorg the Blacksmith. He has his account on Etsy. It's 28 inches in diameter. Very lightweight. You can move it around really fast. And it's called a punch shield because like the Vikings and most of that most people of that era before the strap shields came out, they had the uh, the wood going through it. This is I think it's either electric conduit or PVC with some sort of some form of padded foam and then more foam as the shield with a layer around the rim and it's all held together by uh uh what the hell is it called i can't remember mr travers um depth that's what it's called it's like a form of glue and it really adheses i don't know if you can see it but there's a line of it right there I've had this thing for two years now, and I have used it. I have abused it. I have punched with it. I have I have hit people with the rim with it, and the motherfucker still holds up. And uh, one of the groups I was part of, we were called Ragnar's Raiders, and we're not together anymore. But uh, it was for a little fun LARP we used to do. Um... And it's got the Viking rune symbol of the god Tyr. He's involved with justice, law, and war. And I just went ahead and painted that on to make it look like I took goat goat milk paint like they did back in those Iron Age of, of Europe days and just put the, the rune T on it, which stands for Tyr, the god of war, justice, and law. And, uh, yeah, this is my 28-inch punch shield. And you can, like, and it, 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 it hurts, but not, not like, oh, God, I'm going to die hurt. No, it's like a good, ooh, okay, you got me hit. You know what I mean? That's why it's a punch shield, because you can, it, it's made perfectly to where you could do this and ram people in the face, like, like, here, let me show you. You're allowed to do that in Dagger here. And in my LARP that we ran a while ago called the Realm of Elysium, it was full contact. Grappling, um, grabbing weapons, uh, hitting um, with shields, kicking shields. I liked kicking shields. And my buddy Casper likes kicking shields too, that son of a bitch. Yeah, if you're watching, I fucking see you disarming me and shit. Fuck you! Fuck you! But anyways, so yeah. That's all some more LARP stuff. That I have to show you guys. I'm thinking about trying to start up a melee LARP again. Me and my buddy Casper. We've tried to start so many LARPs. There's just not enough LARPers in this area to get it going. I'm above the influence. So I'm not going to fucking stop. But yeah. <sighs> Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Keep on dipping. Stay nerdy. LARP your fucking hearts out. Dude. See ya.